Oh, it's about to get hot up in here. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Yes Model Fire Engine. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You can see it's a very, very large box here, and we have Fire Engine, aka Hotspots, in his robot mode, in his Fire Engine mode, up top. Fire engine on the bottom, fire engine on the side, fire engine on the other side, fire engine on the back of the box. You have a big old picture here of Defensor, things and stuff, words and things, yes, model, whoo, yay, whoo, ah, ee, ee, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card, which is just straight up the, uh, the make toys. <laughs> artwork there. And on the back, uh, things and stuff that I cannot read. Hooray for cards. Man, moving right along, here we have Fire Engine, and this is the final component of Yes Model's upscaled knockoff of the Make Toys Guardia, their Defensor. And this is Hotspot. And here he is in his Fire Engine mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see a lot of nice silver right up front here, some red, some yellow. The smoky transparent plastic there for the windshield. Got yeah, transparent red for the light bar. And we do have some more than nice silver going along the sides. And some nice details throughout. Got some big, uh, big missile racks or whatever going on there. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. I'm guessing missiles. I don't know. I don't know. Things, things and stuff. Stuff and things. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of things on this guy. Just things and stuff everywhere. Wheels. Lots of wheels. All that kind of stuff. And you have the uh, combined mode chest plate just kind of hanging out there on the back. You know, that's going to serve as, uh, as like tail lights. Hey, it works. Why not? Hey, dare I say why not? And there is the top, and there is the bottom. It does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here it is with the uh, Combiner Wars hotspot. And here it is with the TFC Toys hotspot. And again, I don't own G1 Protective Bots, so sorry, no precious comparison this time, but there you have it. And again, also, I don't own the original Make Toys Protect the Bots, so I can't do that comparison either, so sorry, but... There we have that, and now let's bring in the whole team here and get in our group shot. As always, the motorcycle, way too big, way too big, but hey, that's just the way it works. <laughs> let's see if we can get them all in frame here. Streetwise, and there you go. There you have... Your upscaled make toys protect the bots. They do look pretty good together. So there you go. Now there is some uh, some articulation here in fire engine mode. The ladder can move up and down on a nice ratchet, and you can also extend the ladder if you want. Uh, the ladder itself can also rotate at the base right here, so you can have that going however you want. Go all the way back. Do whatever you want to do with that. And uh, yeah, now as far as accessories go, uh, you do get these two guns right here, which he can hold in robot mode. And these are also for the combined mode guns. And you can store these on the vehicle mode. Uh, there are just these tabs, these slots right here on either side, tabs right here. And you can just plug this one side here and plug this side here. And there you go, and he has all of his accessories stored on him. So yeah, that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> not a bad spin, not a bad spin. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to skip the combined mode transformation. We're going to do the combined mode transformation in the finale video. So right now, we're just going to go from vehicle straight into robot mode, so... Let's get down to it. So, let us remove these guns here, put them off to the side. We do want to remove these sections here. They just tab into the sides. So just give them a little wiggle, 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 and put those off to the side as well. Wiggle, 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 wiggle,
fire engine there all by its lonesome and now let us get down to transformation so first thing we want to do is come back here we need to pop off the uh the chest plate here for combined mode just give it a tug that will snap that's pretty stiff so we're gonna put that off to the side too and then we're gonna come back here and we're going to unclip this section here so just pull this up ah these clips are quite quite tight so just pull that up hey there we go so just unclip that and get that up and out of your way Another thing we need to detach here is we need to come back here and just detach these sections here what parts for Shh. sorry sorry so just remove these and put these off to the side and here we have what's left and this is what's going to become hot spot here so what we're going to do first is we're going to undo actually first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these wheels here and slide them in like so that'll move them out of the way for the next step so you just want to kind of pop open this panel here just untab that like like that untab that and then you want to swing this little section underneath because there's a little tab that goes under that so swing it under and just bring that back and then just untab that and then just swing that under bring that back so we got that going on this is going to just kind of get in your way that's going to be flopping around which i don't like but that well it is what it is so we're going to take the feet and we're just going to just bring this down I'm going to leave that there for now. And I'm going to split the legs. And now we're going to open up this panel here. And we're going to slide out the thighs. And these sliders are really tight. Oh, super tight. There we go. That's the easiest that's ever worked for me. Thank you for cooperating. Close that up. Thank you. Thank you for being cooperative. Uh, so once we do that, we're going to bring this around. And then this will come up and then the foot will just swing under like so and there you have a leg all done flippity floppity floppity flippity get get out of my way second last same as the first bring that down undo the leg Ugh, that's really tight close that up and rotate this around bring that up swing all this around like so to make the foot and there we have the legs all done. So now we will move on to get, get, get out. Move on to the upper body. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, take this section here, just get behind this wheel and just pop that open and bring it forward. And we'll just do that on both sides now. Just push that out, that will untab it. And then you just bring it forward. So that frees up these panels. So you just untap these, swing them up, swing them up, and then we can just bring up his arms. And we're going to untap these, and he's going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. Wiggle those out of the way. And these sections here will just collapse up and just tab in there, collapse up, tab in there. That's just going to get those out of the way for us. And just bring those arms out. And then we can just split. The whole front part here and at this point now we need to rise up all right so <laughs> sometimes you just gotta sing it sometimes you just gotta sing it but anyway uh what we're gonna do here now is we're going to just bring the shoulders out to the side make sure that these bits stay in their orientation just bring the arms around bring them down and then I take this panel this will swing down make sure it's still tabbed in and this will just swing around come around and that will just tab in right there like that now i do have tabs that broke off i'll i'll explain i'll go into detail in the uh in the finale video as to why and how those broke off it's 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 a problem with the combined mode so i'm not going to address it now i'll address it when we talk about the combined mode but yeah those tabs uh broke off all mine just bring the arm down swing that around and just swing this around tab it in 
And that finishes up the arms. And one more little step we want to do here is we want to take these wheels and just swing them around. There's a little notch there for them to sit in. Swing that around. Get them in that little notch. A little notchy notch. And there we go. So then, helps if you guys legs straight. There we go. And then you want to open up this chest panel, which will push up his head, like halfway. Then you just grab a hold of it and slide it up the rest of the way. Close that up. And that locks it in place. And then we come back here. There's some work to be done back here. We just take these bits here, just bring them down, and then just bring them back like that. And then all of this will just collapse up like so to make the backpack and i think we're done are we done yes we're done Woo, we're done for now anyway and so there you have hot spots in his robot mode and it's a very stylized take on hot spot as it is with all of the uh figures in this set but yeah definitely it's a pretty cool look, I think. I can work with it. I can work with it. So let's get in close here. Not on his chest, on his noggin. There it is. You can see, mouth plate done in silver. You got some nice red there, some yellow. A little bit of that transparent red there on the chest. He's got some big old shoulder pads. You can see his hands. Some gray, some yellow there in the abdominal region. You got some red, some silvers, silver here as well. His big old feet. Oh, the big old feet. And you can see the backpack there with the ladder. Oh no, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up ah, very slightly, you can look down a good bit, and can rotate a full 360. Shoulders can do. A full 360, they can move in and out. You have uh, also this hinge here, the transformation joint, if you want to use that for outward movement as well. You have bicep rotation. This section also rotates. You can move that as well if you need to, and that will also give you a uh, double jointed elbow. So you get some extra range of movement there, depending on how you have that oriented, or you can just kind of leave it like that. You know, as always, you can just orient things however you want. As always, yours, do what you want with it. And the wrists are on ball joints. They have rotation and some wiggly waggly. It does have ratcheted waist rotation. You can move these out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back, move out of the way, move back pretty far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got the ratcheting thigh joint. It's that musical ratchet. It has a little ping. I like the musical ratchets, anyway. And you have knee joints with 90 degrees of bend. Again, on a nice ratchet. Uh, these bits here above his feet can move because reasons around ball joints. It's no real point in them moving, but they, they move if you need them to move. Uh, feet. They can move up. They're on a very stiff joint here, but the toes can move up with this joint. You can also move down, but you also get the ankle to titch. So now you're probably wondering, what do we do with all these bits that we pulled off of him? What do we do? What do we do? Not that. We don't do that. We don't, we don't do that. No, that's not what we do, but I'll show you. I'll show you what we do here. So first thing we're going to do, that was not planned at all. That just, that just happened. Uh, so first thing we do here is we take the combined mode chest plate and this will just slide in right in here like so. And there are clips right here that will lock this into place. Just a matter of finding them. There we go. These clip right in and you have these two tabs right here, which will go into these slots right here on the chest plate. So you just get all that all nice and lined up like, and just plug that in like so. And then, actually before we do that, because this makes them back heavy, we need to now add, er, stay, will you stand? 
Will you stand? You won't stand. I'll just lay you down for now. So we need to bring in these sections here. What you want to do is just open up the section, swing this around, close that up, close that up. Just open that up, swing this around, snap that in, close that up. And these are going to clip on to these sections here. So you just clip it in on the one side, clip it in on the other side, and this actually gives him that bit of extra heel support now with all this extra stuff on him. That keeps him upright, like so. And then we'll turn him back around, and we take these bits right here, and there are, where are the tabs? You got these tabs right here, they're gonna go into slots here on either side, so it's a little black bit sticking outward. So that just tabs into the one side, and that tabs in to the other side. There you go, and that's what you do with all that extra stuff. And the thing that's kind of cool is that the wheels, the, uh, the fire engine wheels, kind of make it so he rolls. He rolls, as robot things should. <laughs> anyway. And these two guns, if you want, they do have their own individual handles. You can have them holding them as two separate weapons, or you can take them and plug them together and just make one big old cannon right there of saving justice, murder justice, saving justice of murder. I don't know. And you just plug that into his hand. Just give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And you can hold that. And you can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. And he's got all of that going on right there. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Combiner Wars Hotspot. With TFC Toys Hotspot. Here he is with MP44 Optimus Prime. Just because here he is with the uh, Generation Toy IDW Prime. And now it's time for the family portrait here. So let's bring in the other Protect the Bots and get in that lovely, lovely group shot here. There you go. There you have your Protect the Bots. They look quite nice together. So there you go. So there you have a fire engine. Um, you know, it's a pretty cool figure. He's not the most fun figure to mess with. Honestly, like transforming him is kind of a chore. It's just a lot of tight joints and a lot of stuff you have to kind of struggle with to get undone. So not really a fun figure, but still looks cool nonetheless. Looks good in his uh, vehicle mode. Looks good in robot mode. Quality wise, the plastic feels really good on this figure. I've said that about all of these figures. You know, I, I don't own the original versions to compare, but the, the plastic does feel good and solid and sturdy. You know, nothing feels uh, fragile or flimsy. Now the tabs that broke off, honestly has nothing to do with the plastic quality. That's just a design flaw that the original figure had that they did not fix with this knockoff. So that's just a design flaw. But again, I'll get more into that when we do the combined mode video. But all in all, he is a good looking stylized hotspot there. So there you go. Now I pick this up from TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all the other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Knockoff Guardia playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Yes Model Fire Engine, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Protect the bots! Let's go! Yeah, woohoo! I'm ready to do hero stuff! Really, Hotspot? Really? That's it? Let's go? That's your big heroic leader war cry? Like I said, just keep it simple. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go.